So these are going to be a variation of lumbar spine pails and rails. Now the goal of lumbar spine pails and rails for flexion is to increase the space that we have in between each of the segments of the lumbar spine. So go ahead and Jose, give, uh, give us the position and show off your amazing flexibility that you have on your lumbar spine and your hamstrings. Good. So Jose obviously can reach his toes, so his, uh, his flexibility is pretty good. If you can't, I recommend grabbing onto a kettlebell or something that's a little bit higher so that you can also use this position, okay? And so from this position, what you wanna do is the pale's contraction will be you trying to push your butt and out, outside, almost like you're doing a cat cow. Go ahead and Jose show us what that looks like. Now you're not gonna see a lot of movement from Jose. It's mostly an internal contraction, good. And then the opposite contraction is the pale's is you trying to bring your pelvis into you almost like you're trying to make yourself into a bigger seat and crunch further. This is the position that's gonna help you a lot with your deadlifts, it's gonna help you grind the very, very bottom position of the deadlift a lot. Good, and fails again. Good. And rails. And you wanna do these contractions for the prescribed amount of time by your coach. And you're good. Beautiful.